Prove to me you can legally sleep in the back of your truck. Okay. All right, guys, let's settle this once and for all. The definitive answer of whether you can sleep in the back of your truck or anywhere for that matter, honestly. But right here, we need to establish who has to comply. Just in case you're brand, brand new, who has to comply to the hours of service? And you can see it, it clearly says right there. You must follow the hours of service regulation if you drive a commercial vehicle, and that is, in general, a truck or truck tractor with a trailer that is involved in interstate commerce, like I am, weighs, including the load, 10,001 pound or more, like I do, and has a gross weight rating of, com or gross combination weight rating of 10,001 pound or more, like I do. So it's clear as day, I have to have basically a logbook. That's what hours of service means. I have to have a logbook. So in your logbook, you're gonna have four sections or four places to draw your log, on duty, off duty, driving and sleep or birth. First one, the definition of on duty. And obviously you can see it's basically when you're working for your company, except for other than driving. But the point number four right there, all other time in or on a commercial motor vehicle, other than time spent resting in or on a parked vehicle. That makes it clear as day. If you are not driving, you're just chilling in your truck, whether it's in the front seat, in the back seat, on it doesn't matter. If you're on your trailer sleeping, you put a tent out, doesn't matter. In or on your vehicle, you are resting as long as you have no obligation to the company. Okay, so that makes sense. And however, if you scroll down some more to the next page, they clarify even more. Just in case you missed it, the FMCSA excludes from the definition of on duty time any time resting in a parked commercial motor vehicle with the driver relieved of all responsibility. It goes on to list a couple more exclusions, but that's only for team drivers, so that does not apply to me. Now that we know that we can sleep in our trucks in the front seat, in the back seat, on the bed, on the trailer, you can sleep wherever on your truck, honestly. The question is, why do I have to log it off as off duty instead of sleep or berth? Especially if you're like me and you took out the back seat and you have a twin size mattress back there. It's a good question. And so we look at the definition of sleep or berth. And it says, in general, a driver who operates a property carrying commercial motor vehicle equipped with a sleep or berth as defined in 395.2 and 393.76 of this subchapter. Okay, what the heck is 393.76? Let's look it up. And when you finally pull it up, you can see under 393.76, it says dimension, size, a sleeper berth must be at least the following size. And obviously because we're past 1975, it has to be 75 inches long, 24 inches wide, and 24 inches tall. And my bed in the back does not meet those requirements. That is why I have to mark off duty instead of sleep or berth. And the last thing I wanna point out is question 26 on the FMCSA website. And it says, may a driver record sleep or berth time as off duty time? on line one of the record duty status and they answer no the driver's record duty status must accurately reflect the driver's activities so if you get an officer that tells you hey you got to record sleeper birth you can show to him all these things all right guys that's gonna do it for this video let me know did you like this video did you not like it let me know in the comments did i cover everything good enough or did i, did I miss something and then i will see you guys in the next video peace